Okay, if you're watching this video, you're either a club owner or a decision maker within the club organization, and you're looking to grow an extra six to seven figures with your club organization. And today I'm going to show you how to do that with supplemental technical training. I do think this video is going to really help you out. If you need more hands-on help after this video, just watch the whole video. You'll see how you can get in contact with me to set up a quick call. Uh, we are offering consulting with soccer clubs that want to do this. And this video is going to walk you through some key points to consider. And I really do think this is going to change your club forever if you watch this video. All right. With that being said, let's go into the quick problems that most clubs are dealing with. So right now, a lot of the players that are within your club, they're not getting individualized attention. So parents are constantly seeking out more help. They're looking for a private trainer. They're looking for someone to help their son or daughter outside of the club's ecosystem. And this is happening more and more. Like if you just go online, you'll be able to see private training is just getting bigger and bigger and it's not slowing down. It's gotten so much bigger, especially in the last two years um, as the World Cup comes to the US, it's going to get even bigger. Um, and the extra training is something that parents are always looking for constantly, all right, for different reasons, but it's just happening and it's not going to go away. All right. That's number one. Second, a lot of coaches that work for you, that the coaches and trainers that are club trainers, they're barely scraping by right now. And it's really hard and difficult for them to stay loyal to one club because they're not getting paid enough. All right. So why would they ever leave your club if they can make way more money? So example, a lot of these club trainers are making like two to four K per month in the club system. And the only way they can really make more money right now is if they take on more teams. Now, the problem with that is every new team they take on, the less attention they give to their other teams that they have. That's not fair to those teams. And that makes the product of what they're delivering not as good. So again, they're barely scraping by. But if they have opportunities to make more money within the club, they're not going to want to leave. Even if other clubs out there can offer more money per team, they're not going to leave your situation if they have other ways to make money throughout the month. All right, we're going to talk about that here in a second. Uh, next is profit margins aren't where they should be as a business to function for years and decades. So a lot of clubs out there simply aren't making enough money. Like you got fields, you have lights, you have insurance, you have the, the fees that you're paying your coaches. And as a business owner, like if you're the club president or the club director and you're, you're wanting to increase the revenue within the business, we have to find newer ways to increase your profit margin. And simply put, most clubs out there aren't in business for more than two or three years profitably. Like a lot of, co a lot of uh, companies that I've spoken with, they're barely making any money. And if you want to have a long lasting club, it's going to be best to add something that increases profit margin. So across the board, everybody gets paid more. All right. Next one is the fields that are being paid for right now. Like whether you own the field or if you're renting the field, you have to pay for that regardless. And they're, those fields are not being fully utilized and maximized per hour. So from four to 6 PM and on all holidays during the year, I can count 10 hours of dead time minimum uh, Monday through Friday where the fields just aren't being used. And the way I look at that is like the fields are an asset. They should be some, they should be producing income right when school gets out. And if they're not, in my opinion, I think you're wasting money. All right. Next is the average lifespan with club players right now is decreasing because of all the new options in the area. So there's more and more club options to pick from. And the problem is now you have to replace new uh, players with old players, or sorry, you have to play, replace old players that were committed with new players every single year at tryouts. Now, <clears throat> if you have supplemental training involved with your program, it's going to make your program better, which means the average life, uh, lifetime value of each customer, it's going to go up. That means they're not only going to pay more for uh, supplemental training, but they're going to stay in your club longer. So if they're staying in your club longer, that means it's going to be easier to run the club because you're not having to constantly find new kids. And that's a big problem that a lot of clubs are dealing with, right? So these are the problems 
there's a lot of other problems that I could think of, but these are kind of the main main ones that I have seen and and spoken with with club directors, club owners before. All right. Now I'm going to show you very simply here how to add another six or seven figures with technical training. And I'm just showing you one example here. It's going to make sense if you have a pen and piece of paper because there's a lot of numbers here on the screen. But I want to try to go through this in the next like three or four minutes. All right. So number one. All right, you can offer supplemental group training at an additional $150 per month fee, or you create an offer for an extra like thousand or maybe $1,200 ish. Um, and that's per year on top of the normal registration fee. So imagine the parents that are paying for the fall season or the spring season, you add an option there where they can just add it. And when they add that, they're getting more training outside of what they're getting with their normal team practice. So that alone, like a percentage of all of the parents who sign up, they're gonna, going to want that. Because right now, the people who are training with other trainers outside of your club, they're going to be paying that or even more per year to, to get training outside of your club. So offering that within your club, that is where we want to be. We want to have that as something that's creating recurring revenue. Now, I have this set up very simple here. This is an example if you have $150 per month and a group of eight. So if you max out at a group of eight, that one group is going to generate $1,200 per month. Now, if you pay a trainer $50 per hour and they run four sessions, so one session per week, you're paying that trainer an extra $200. Now, of course, you could train that, pay, uh, you could pay that trainer more. You could also pay them less. That's really going to come down to your market. But if you have enough coaches on staff and they want to make an extra 200 or maybe more dollars per month, like it's going to make sense for them to want to do that because odds are these club trainers aren't working all day and then coming to club practice. A lot of these guys that are trying to do this full time, they're looking for extra ways to make money within soccer. So this is a great opportunity. So if you pay them an extra $50 per hour, like it's $200 per month. So with this specific example, the profit margin is $1,000 per month. So you're only spending $200 to make this happen. So $1,200 coming in, $200 going out, $1,000 in the business. All right. Now, if we scale this out to 10 groups, that's $12,000 of revenue and $10,000 of profit. And that's $120,000 per year. That is incredibly doable for a club. A lot of clubs deal with hundreds of parents. You don't need hundreds of people uh, to be able to do this. Like if you have, you know, 10 groups right, right there, you're sitting at six figures, more than six figures of profit. All right. So next here is the coaches can make an extra hundred dollars per day by just working two sessions. So if you have one coach, they work two sessions per day. They're making an extra hundred bucks per day. Most club trainers that I've talked to would gladly do this. Gladly. Could they do it for more? Yes. You could pay them more if, if there's room for that. Uh, you could also pay them less. All right. Now, the ideal schedule at a small scale, this is how we look at it. Uh, you pick one day during the week. All right. So I'm just picking this day. It's Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. Now, if you have five coaches running one session each at the same time, but they run two sessions total, that's running 10 sessions per monday all right now if you do that you can look back above that's that's fulfilling 10 groups and making 10k per month profit that's after expenses because the expenses like i showed you above is going to be uh 2k per month all right so really simple with how we have this set up um, and all you have to do is then you can scale it beyond that. If your club is bigger, uh, you could also even offer that to other people that aren't even in the club as a service. Um, you don't have to hire your own club trainers. You could hire supplemental trainers that are in your area and just uh, pay them as contractors. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, and number five, just imagine running this daily, Monday through Thursday. All right, you could have four days of training. You have the same staff of five coaches. They're all running two sessions per day. Um, at this rate, you have 40 groups and you're making 40K per month. That's after eight, 8K expenses of $48,000 per month that's coming in. Um, and over the course of the year, that's roughly half a million dollars of new revenue per year. 
Now, I could just talk on and on about the benefits of why this is going to help your club long term. But if you're interested in making an extra 100K within your club uh, minimum, um, and you're interested in working together with me and accomplishing that together, then send me a text at this number that you see on the screen right here. It's 210-960-5771. Um, worst case scenario is we talk for 10 to 15 minutes and you get even more insight and more tips on what to do. Uh, best case is we get to work together and set this up within your business. This is going to be, in my opinion, the best possible thing you can add in the future. Uh, private training industry is just getting bigger and bigger. But if you add this into your business, it's going to make your club organization better than all of the other clubs in your area, which makes your club stand out. And when you have that within your product, the players and families that are in your program, they will stay in your program longer, like I said earlier, which means the business makes more money. All right. So that's it for this video. I'm only taking on four, uh, sorry, five organizations that want to work with me personally. So shoot me a text there. Um, and I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks so much.